Little Spot Learns to Compromise, a story about problem solving and sharing, written and illustrated by Diane Elber. This read aloud was read with permission by the author, Diane Elber. Hi, I'm Confident Spot. Um, this is a book about compromise, not confidence. I had to compromise to be in this book. Why? Because I wanted to be in this book too. Hi, I'm Happiness Spot. At first, we didn't want to be in the same book. But then we compromised, and now we are both here to have fun. How does compromising work? Compromising is when two people disagree on something, and they are able to find a solution that they both can agree on. Compromising also shows that you care about the other person and their feelings. Are there a lot of ways to compromise? Yes, there are different ways to compromise based on the situation. We created five C's of compromise to help you figure out which compromising strategy to use. One, care to share. Two, communicate and listen. Three, create a trade or swap. Four, combine two ideas into one. Five, choose to start over. Here are the five C's of compromise in action. These two children both want to draw with crayons, but there is only one box. This can cause frustration spot to show up, but compromise can help. If they can't compromise, then they won't be able to scribble. <gasps> I need crayons. I need crayons too. How can they compromise? They can compromise by sharing crayons and taking turns. Care to share. We can share. I can use the green crayon first and then when I'm done, I can pass it to you. I love when we can share crayons. Here is a situation where it's hard to share a whole box of crayons. I want to color on the ground, so I need the crayons here. I want to color on the desk, so I need them here. Hmm, how can they compromise? They can compromise by finding out what the other person needs. Communicate and listen. Do you need the whole box of crayons or only certain colors? I only need green crayon. You can have the rest. In this scenario, two children want each other's crayons. Maybe they could swap crayons? I need a red and green crayon. I need a yellow and blue crayon. How can they compromise? They can compromise by trading. They both might be giving up something they have, but they are both feeling happy and heard by their friend. Create a trade or swap. I'll trade you my yellow and blue crayons for your red and green crayons. That sounds like a fair trade. In this situation, there is a disagreement on what to draw. I want to draw a tiger. I want to draw a tree. How can they compromise? They can compromise by combining both of their ideas into one drawing. Combine two ideas into one. How about we draw a tiger sitting under a tree? That sounds fun. 
In this scenario, two friends have a hard time agreeing on what activity to do. I want to draw, or I want to play a board game. How can they compromise? They can compromise by using their creativity to think of something new that they both want to do. Choose to start over. How about we play basketball? Okay. So you see, there are so many opportunities to compromise and show people you care about them and their feelings. It is also a great way to help solve conflict in a happy, healthy way. Compromising is fun. Compromising helps friends get along. Compromising helps you become more confident in communicating. The next time conflict arises, you'll know what to do. Just remember the five C's of compromise and you can solve problems too. Care to share, communicate and listen, create a trade or swap, combine two ideas into one, choose to start over. Yeah!